to me, forgiveness means recognizing the full humanity of that other person. It also means letting go of something that can be self-destructive. One of the things that happened after I realized that Greg was gone is that since I'm human, I was angry. But I had this instinct that the anger really had to be channeled into something that was going to be good for others. One morning after breakfast, Orlando disappeared into the other room and came back about 15 minutes later with a letter that he had composed, not in our son's name. Our son died a victim of an inhuman ideology. Our actions should not serve the same purpose. We started getting feedback from people we never met or heard of because everyone was sending it to people they knew. We got hundreds of letters in the mail because people looked us up, looked up our addresses from other countries, and we were approached by human rights groups, by uh, groups that uh, work for nonviolence and against the death penalty. What helped bring me out of my own grief was the contact with Aisha El Wafi. I had wanted to meet her when I saw her in the media. I felt empathy for her as a mother, sympathy for her being the mother of someone who at the moment was next to Osama bin Laden, the most unpopular person in the United States. Zacharias Moussaoui, a French citizen, is charged with conspiring to commit acts of terrorism and murder in association with Osama bin Laden's terror network. Four of the six counts carry the death penalty. Par la souffrance et par la tristesse et par le, le... moi quand je sais quand je pense à mon fils, tout mon intérieur est détruit. Our son's life is not worth more than her son's life. Meeting with uh, convicted felons in a peace circle has helped me tremendously. I also feel a duty towards his memory to try to promote the, what he did instinctively um, and to, to therefore take some of the anger away from others and some of the anger away from myself. Just wishing one day that I can sit at my victim's mother, just sit at her feet and just apologize to her, you know? I know she has a void in her life, the same way how Orlando has a void in his life, and the same way Phyllis has a void in her life now. Personally, it's not always good for us. That is, it, it, you know, it provokes emotions that we would rather not deal with at the moment. You're telling a story about pain, about suffering, but taking all this into account, it, uh, it's rewarding, it's rewarding for us. Thank you so much for this award. I accept it on behalf of people all over the world working for peace and reconciliation. Aisha and I are just two women, we're two ordinary women, through an accident of history, found a commonality. But I was very afraid of what other people's reactions would be to this controversial friendship. And while Phyllis was being so brave about all this, I was very reluctantly going to be in public about this. This is the only case, to our knowledge, where victims have testified as witnesses called by the defense. And I was also very afraid that um, there would be headlines and that it would, it would affect our lives. So it wasn't something that I went in smiling into. In fact, I think it was the, one of the worst things that I did in my life. Until that point when I testified, then things changed totally.